러블리가 아이유가 부릅니다. 후! 만약에 내가 살 빼고 예뻐져서 오면 그때 네 대답 달라질 수도 있니? 뭐? 리드 음. K로 해성처럼 등장했던 그룹 K가 이번 주를 끝으로 활동을 마무리. 좀 스스로가 사이버그 같다고 느껴, 느꼈어요 늘. 그래서. 저, 자꾸 저랑 얘랑 분리시켜서 생각이 되, 되는 거예요. 어, 내가 여기서 정신을 잃, 잃으면 그러니까 음. 다른 애들이 하는 것처럼 내가 여기서 정신줄로 오면 영영 돌아갈 곳이 없겠구나라고 음. 생각을 해서 그거는 놓지 말자, 놓지 말자 그게 있어. 연습실에서 그냥 처박혀 있는 게뭐 힐링이고 안식처고 이런 걸다 떠나서 그냥 현실 도피였던 거예요. 그때도 막 이제 잘 돼서 좋다 이런 것보다 그냥 항상 불안함이 있었어요. 음. 뭔가 곧 방빼라고 할것 같은? 음. 네. 자 요즘 제일 듣기 싫은 말 어, 그, 살쪘다 아, 자, 올해 케이블 듣기 싫은 말은 살쪘다 네 살쪘다 오왜왜왜 왜, 왜? 
아 얼굴 살이 자꾸 쪄요. 얼굴 살이. 근데 그게 그 관상학적으로는 굉장히 좋은 거예요. 어 그래요? 복이 있는 거예요. 얼굴에 복이. 그럼요. 음아 그래도 확실히 얼굴 살은 좀 없을 때가 화면에는 예쁘게 나오더라고요. 그렇죠. 근데 저는 사실 몸은 조금 통통했으면 좋겠어요. 그리고 아. 얼굴은 완전 아예 볼살 아예 없는. 저 그렇게 되면은 실제 상황입니다. 대이동의 모습이 아닙니다. 바로 게릴라 데이트입니다. 지난주 수요일 와. 명동 일대를 마비시켰던 IOC와의 게릴라 데이트. 위험해요. 준비 기간 동안 네. 가장 많이 신경 쓴게 뭐예요? 아무래도 다이어트 했던 것 같아요. 다이어트, 예. 드라마 하면서 살이 좀 많이 쪘어요. 예, 예. 어, 가수 데뷔할 때또 다른 모습을 보여드려야 하니까 네. 다이어트를 하느라고 그게 제일 힘들었어요. 그래요. 와, 지금. 아이유 같은 경우에는 지금 어. 메뉴가 등급이 아유, 돼 있죠. 아유, 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 씨. 아유, 아유, 아유 씨. 아유 씨. 아이유는 근데 저 다이어트 하느라고 사실 야식 같은 거 많이 못 먹었죠. 요즘 계속 못 먹고 있어요. 아유. 아유. 아니, 근데 근데 지난번 보니까 음. 하루에 먹는 양이 고구마 하나, 아유, 사과 아유, 하나. 아유, 뭐. 얼마 전에 떴어. 네. 네. 그거밖에 안 먹고. 아유. 근데 아유. 요새는 그래도 먹고요. 음. 그때 이제 제일 극단적으로 했을 때가 아유. 안 먹고 운동 열심히 했을 때. 네. 그리고 아유. 요새는 또 이제 적, 적당한 아, 밥은 아유. 먹어요. 얼마 동안에 몇 킬로나 뺐어요? 4일 동안 4kg 뺐어요. 4일 동안 4kg 빠져요? 그러니까 진짜 극단적인 거예요. 극단적으로 운동을 열심히 하고 음. 진짜 소량만 먹는 거죠. 아 죽지 않을 아 거. 거의 뭐 망한, 망했을 그. 근데 자신감 있었죠? 자신감이요? 뭐, 그냥, 네, 그래서 그때 좀 자존감이 좀 많이 떨어졌던 것 같기는 해요. 음. 네, 나 진짜 아무것도 아니구나라는 거를. 저녁 때그 약속이 있기 때문에 그날 하루를 지금 안 먹었던 아. 거예요. 하루 한. 네. 완전 절식 아니면 폭식이에요. 야. 그래서 저 폭식증이 잠깐 있었어요. 네. 정말 심하, 심할 정도로 그, 에, 폭식이 되게 있어서 지금은 폭식을 안 하기 위해서 이제 그런 걸 정해놓은 거죠. 스스로의 룰을 너무 건강을 해치니까 한 끼를 진짜 맛있게 먹고 싶은 걸딱 진짜 만, 만끽하자. 진짜 내가 나를 못 믿고 싫어하기 시작하니까 아니 네. 공허한데 이게 위가 공허한 게 아닌데 뭐라도 채워야겠으니까 그냥 음식물로 속을 채우는 거예요. 그래서 계속 먹고 잤어요. 먹고 자고 먹고 자고 해서 살도 막 쪘다가 나중에는 건강이 너무 안 좋아져가지고요. 음. 체질이 확다 변해버리고 네. 막 토할 정도로 먹으니 먹는 거예요. 음. 그래서 치료도 받았어요. 치료도 아, 받고 예. 네. 그 식죠? 아, 폭식증. 폭식. 네. 그럼 지금 하다가 폭식은 다 나은 겁니까? 다 낫진 않았어요. 아. 요즘에도 스트레스를 많이 받으면 그냥 무조건 먹는, 먹어야겠다는 생각밖에 안 들어요. 네. 아무것도 안 보이고. 근데 그래도 예전에 비해서는 많이 나아진 편이고 또 운동을 시작을 해서요. 네. 요새는 거의 운동 중독 수준이긴 한데 그냥 일어나면 무조건 운동. 그, 그러고 나면 먹어도 되는 게 스스로가 좀 허락이 되는 거예요. 그래서 보통 식사를 할수 있게 되고 음. 그래서 좀 나아지고 있는 중이에요. 아, 지금. 그래요? 
제가 제 노래 중에 제일 기분이 좋아지는 곡이랄까? 아주 맑은 날 하늘 같은 곡입니다. 이것도 콘서트에서만 볼수 있는 곡이에요. <웃음> 아니 좀 마지막 공연 할 때쯤에 Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's video, in all honesty, is super awkward for me to make. I never thought I would talk about my weight on the internet. Um, but as you guys may know, about six months ago, five and a half months ago, my husband and I went vegan overnight after watching Gary Yorowski's famous speech. And yeah, six months later, I can't believe how much it has actually changed my life. And I feel like my story may help some of you out there watching this. So that is why I am doing this, even though I'm not that comfortable showing you guys the pictures I'm gonna show you and all this kind of stuff. But if I can help somebody out there who's struggling, then that's why I'm making this video. I guess let's start at the beginning. So growing up, I was always a super skinny kid, never had like obesity really in my family or I was never overweight growing up. I was always pretty skinny through high school, through college. Um, when I started to put on some weight was after I got married, like a lot of couples, or not married, I would say after I was in a serious relationship um, with my now husband, um, about a year in, we both started to put on substantial amounts of weight. Um, we met in Switzerland and we moved to the United States together and that is when things started to kind of go downhill. We started going through a lot of drive-throughs, eating a lot of junk food and we no longer were getting like any exercise. Um, we met in Switzerland where we were walking all the time and our life was just a bit more balanced um, than in the US where all of a sudden we had cars and drive-throughs and walking was no longer really something that we did very often. So um, I have some pictures here. This is when you know we were engaged, super happy, but super unhealthy. And we were both very self-conscious about our weight all the time. And yeah, it was just not good. We were always thinking we need to lose weight. We need to work out. We need to eat healthier. We need to diet. We need to try things. We need to restrict our calories. And um, yeah, I would go up and down. Sometimes I felt really good about my weight, but most of the times um, I felt like I had some pounds to lose. I was the typical person who always felt like they could lose an extra 10 or 15 pounds. And as a person who was always very thin when I was younger, you know, when Matias and I first met, I was, I was very thin. Um, this was very frustrating um, because I thought I couldn't really do anything about it other than work out all the time. Um, but I've never been the person who really enjoys working out. So I always just felt um, kind of stuck, like, I don't know, like wanting to lose weight, but not being motivated enough to work out. And um, there was just never a good solution for either of us. Even my husband, super thin guy, he started to put on weight as well. And he just was feeling super self-conscious and I could see that in him and he could see that in me. And it just wasn't good. And of course we knew if we eat healthy and exercise that we will lose weight and be healthy and it will be a good decision, but we never had the motivation in us to do it. And that is why going vegan has been so important because 
um, it gives you a reason bigger than just your own personal health and your own personal life. Um, going vegan, you can improve the planet and you can save a gazillion of animals that get killed every year so we can eat them even though they make us sick and overweight. So we didn't go vegan for the weight loss. Um, it was certainly something I was hoping was true what everybody was talking about, um, but we definitely went vegan for the ethics. Um, after I saw some of the stuff that I saw on the internet, I no longer could consider myself a reasonable person if I would continue to take part in the animal product industry and yeah, just after I saw what I saw, I just couldn't partake in that at all. It was an easy decision overnight for both my husband and for me. And I have here a picture from the day one um, on our vegan journey. Um, yeah, this even isn't me at my highest weight. Um, yeah, this was me actually feeling somewhat okay about my weight, which is funny now because um, I'll show you the after picture in a second and it's quite a dramatic difference. But yeah, this before picture is not the worst that I have. Trust me, I couldn't even take a picture at the worst. Um, point but this is right before we went vegan um, so yes yeah, quite surprising for me to look at and after six months of being vegan this is what I look like now so quite a big difference um, and I'm gonna go ahead and say I lost all this weight without exercising I am not proud of that I wish I exercised more um, but I do still struggle in that department however we do live a act more active type of lifestyle than we did of all those pictures that I showed you when we were living in the US. So now we do walk everywhere, you know, we go upstairs, we walk a good number of miles every single day. Um, we live a little bit more um, active type of lifestyle, but working out, unfortunately, we haven't been able to get into our um, daily routine yet, um, but we are getting really serious about it now and I hope that in six more months, I will have another picture after six months of working out included. But unfortunately, all that I can show you is from dietary changes. This is not from working out because we unfortunately haven't been working out like I just said. So I actually can't tell you the number of pounds that I've lost over these six months because I have not been weighing myself. Again, was not my motivation for going vegan at all. And I wouldn't even consider us super healthy vegans. We eat potato chips all the time, mashed potatoes, <laughs> french fries, candy. I mean, we do eat that a lot more than we should, but we do incorporate way more fruits and vegetables, obviously, into our diet than I ever have in my entire life. And I think the main thing that made me lose all the weight was just the unhealthiness, high calorie of these animal products that I used to eat um, has been not an option anymore. So that is really helping. And and the most amazing thing is when I walk, you know, through the streets of Berlin and I see these hot dog stands and these pizza stands, those are things that used to crave me so much and I would just want it. And now I'm like, I don't even want it. And I'm so grateful that I'm vegan and that I have a bigger reason not to eat those types of things other than just, I know it's bad for me, I shouldn't, but let me do it anyways. It's just not an option at all. Since we went vegan, we haven't had a relapse or anything like that, definitely not. I do not even crave that kind of food anymore because I just picture what I've seen on the internet when I see that food and yeah, I just don't see it as food anymore. When I go in the grocery store, see the animal products, the dairy, the meat, to me this is actually not food anymore in my brain and I can't believe that that change happened to me um, because I was such a chicken nugget cheese <laughs> person. Um, but it feels amazing to eat better and it's improving my health a lot. Um, yeah. My husband and I have so much energy, way more than ever before. We used to have to drink so much caffeine and Red Bull to get through the day and we haven't had caffeine in a very long time now. Well, we might have an occasional treat like a Coke once a month or something like that, but not three Red Bulls a day like we used to, which is amazing. My husband also used to suffer from debilitating digestive and stomach issues. Every time he would eat, he would have horrible cramping and have to be in the bathroom for many hours. Um, I don't know, maybe not many hours, but it felt like it to me, like he always had to leave um, every time we went to dinner or we were at you know, family things or whatever. Um, and that has been completely cured, which we never were able to cure before. We took him to the doctor, got him tested for 
all sorts of things. You know, he tried cutting out dairy, that didn't work. He tried chicken, that didn't work. He tried cutting out red meat, that didn't work. But since going vegan six months ago, he has not suffered from these digestive issues anymore, which is really improving his quality of life and our relationship as well. And as for me, um, other than increased energy and weight loss, I just feel like happier, I feel good. I feel good every day that I'm making good decisions with what I'm eating. It's allowing me to just, I don't know, or not allowing me, it, it is making me be a more intentional human being and thinking about things before I eat them, obviously, and just being more aware of my impact on other lives, you know, animal lives. And I just feel really good at night knowing that I'm not contributing to anything that's destroying my health, the environment, or animals' lives. Oh yeah, even though I can't tell you um, how many pounds I have lost, I can tell you that before I went vegan, I was a big size 10 in pants. So a US size 10 pants was pretty snug um, six months ago. And at this point, the pants I'm wearing right now, I believe are a size six and they are way too loose and I'm ready to go down a size again. So I don't know how much that is <laughs> in pounds, but I have lost a good amount of inches off my waist, thighs, legs, I would say pretty much everywhere and I feel really good about that. It feels good to be back to a size that I actually see myself in my head because sometimes you get to that point in your life in your head you're one size and you look in the mirror you're another size and you just can't really comprehend it. So I feel like I'm more at a weight where I feel like myself and I feel like I look like I feel, I don't know. Anyways you guys, this video is not to preach or anything like that. Um, I am not one of those channels, I hope you can see that, but I just know a lot of you might be struggling with your weight and dieting and all those things, and I can tell you, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna be long-term sustainable, but if you go vegan, you do not have to watch your calories or calorie restrict. You can eat all the yummy vegan whole plant foods that you want and not have to worry about gaining weight, and this is a fantastic benefit of the lifestyle for me personally because I cannot diet and cut calories it's just it does not work for me i tried it many times um definitely not long-term sustainable and i love being vegan because i don't know so many reasons but a main thing also is that you don't have to watch what you're eating so much you know you can enjoy all the wholesome plant foods that you want you know and again i'm probably talking too much i'm not a vegan expert at all i wouldn't even consider myself the healthiest vegan i need to incorporate more vegetables more whole foods and more exercise into my diet and lifestyle, which is my goal going forward. Now that I've lost the good chunk of weight, I have more energy and I wanna work out. It's actually weird for the first time in my life. I feel like I wanna move and do things with my body. I feel like I don't wanna just be sedentary. I have this increased energy and I wanna, I wanna put it somewhere. I wanna, I wanna move, I wanna work out. Um, so I just have to find a workout that suits me and I'm, I'm looking forward to um, being a healthier vegan um, in the next six months. So I will check in with you guys probably in six months because I don't want to talk about this all the time on my channel. But um, hopefully it made some sense to some of you, helped some of you out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye. And until next time, guys, don't forget, every single day you have the opportunity to take your dreams and put them into actions. So work hard, be kind, make it happen.